Hello, I'm Mary Brown, and I get to be the pastor here at Silva First United Methodist Church. And when I say that I get to be the pastor, I want you to know that I, I really mean it. This is a pretty awesome church that happens to be in a pretty awesome community. And it really is great to get to be the pastor here and to follow Christ and to live among all of y'all. But it's been a little sad for the last few months because I haven't gotten to see all you awesome people very much as we've been living in quarantine. There have been good side effects though. Uh, for one, it has been awesome for me to see that you are the kind of church that isn't gonna let something as little as a pandemic stop you from being the body of Christ. And so you've persisted in being the church together. Uh, you've kept worshiping and connecting with each other, serving the community, studying scripture, that's really cool to see. There's been a lot to celebrate in the last few months. <laughs> but I think we can all agree that doesn't mean we want to keep doing this forever. I know a lot of you are curious about uh, when we get to come back to church, when we'll fully reopen and go back to normal. Frankly, I'm about as curious as any of you. And for that reason, we have been working hard on developing plans to reopen. The trick is that it depends on a lot of variables and things that are unknown in our future. So what I wanna to do today is give you some sense of what's going on now and what you might expect so that you can continue to be a strong part of our church and our community together. So first things first, let's talk about the part of reopening that everyone's most curious about, worship. Here in the Western North Carolina Conference of the United Methodist Church, our bishop says we're to refrain from any in-person indoors worship until June 30th. So we know that much for sure. But the truth is for us here at Silva First United Methodist Church, it's likely gonna be beyond that before we really start thinking about it. And I want you to be prepared for that. And here are the reasons why. For starters, our worship attendance on an average Sunday morning is well big enough that it would present a problem for the logistics of being safe together. And once we implement the rules that would make it safe to be together, we would be left with something that didn't much resemble what we've been missing because we'd have to limit attendance, stay far apart from each other, not share food or coffee, not sing together. On the flip side of that, we have this really positive thing happening. Through the talents of our staff and frankly, the blessing of the Holy Spirit, many of us have been surprised to find how meaningful live stream worship really can be, that God is working through that. So what we wanna do as we look to the future is wait to get back together on Sunday mornings until the time when we can do it safely and in a way that's meaningful to us, to, that truly feels like worship. And we might have to wait a little while before that happens. But that doesn't mean that we can't see each other before now and then. So what we do wanna do is start working toward ways that we can get together in smaller circumstances. Like when y'all come here to the office to visit or when we have small groups meet. In terms of our office, uh, we want you to know that for one, our staff has been working really hard during quarantine to continue to uh, strengthen the ministries of our church. And now uh, one thing that we're doing is following new protocols really carefully so that it is safe for you to visit. So if you come into the office, don't be surprised that you'll see us all wearing our masks uh, anytime that we're outside of our offices or if you come in here to visit with me, I'll be wearing a mask. Uh, we'll also be maintaining that six foot distance. And we're doing all those things to make sure that we don't unintentionally spread anything more than germs. Now, if you come and visit us, you've gotta be prepared that we'll ask the same things of you. So to start, before you come, check yourself. Our staff is doing this too. If you feel in the least bit unwell, don't come to our office. Uh, frankly, don't leave your house at all, right? Next, be prepared that we'll be wearing masks and we're asking you to do the same if you come indoors to the church. We're also practicing good hand sanitation. So as you enter, there's a hand sanitizer bottle there. As you exit, we recommend you use it again um, and wash your hands frequently. And then um, 
be prepared that we're all maintaining that six foot dif distance. I know that it feels kind of contrary to the closeness we feel together as a body of Christ, but know that we're doing it to prevent the spread of germs. We wanna grow closer to God and to love our neighbor and not unintentionally do harm as we get eager to get back into life together. Now, when we think about the small group ministries of our church, a lot of the same principles are going to apply. We're starting uh, very gradually to allow some small groups to meet here at the church, but um, they're in limited numbers and uh, they uh, are holding them to groups of no more than 10. And we're trying to be very careful and very cautious about that. If your small group is interested in meeting here at the church, uh, call me, call our office uh, so we can talk about that. But just be prepared that all those same things, wearing masks, washing your hands, doing self-checks, we have to do when we meet at the church. In the meantime, we don't want this to prevent our small groups from meeting. Uh, so know that our staff is here and ready to help you if you're interested in meeting online. We can help make that easier for you than you might think. And um, if you wanna meet outdoors, someone's porch in a covered area at a six foot distance, that's a really safe thing to do just because you've got that free flowing outdoor air. So keep gathering together, just know that we'll have to be creative about it. Now, another area in which we're working on reopening the church is uh, the use of the building by our community. Our great facilities were built for the community to use and we wanna get back to that but we're gonna have to be uh, cautious and safe in that. And most of those groups are larger in numbers, so it will take a little extra preparation and time before we can get to that. So all you pickleballers out there who are chomping at the bit to come back, be patient with us. Know that we want you back here. Uh, we're just trying to be careful and make sure we keep progressing forward in a good direction instead of rushing into it, having an unintentional spread, and then we have to backtrack again. So the last piece of our reopening puzzle is uh, this, the Early Learning Center. Such an important part of our community, uh, service to our children. And for that reason, they decided to reopen for their summer session, which started on June 15th. You can only imagine the work and preparation that went into this. Uh, Carolyn and her staff have been hard at work researching and then implementing all the best practices. So you know how our Early Learning Center already has a high standard of sanitation? It is through the roof now as they're prepared to host all these wonderful kids with the least amount of sharing of germs as possible. So as we think about them reopening, you can keep in mind that that will change traffic to our church office. And if you come by to visit in the mornings during the weekdays, uh, be prepared that that might be disrupted a little bit in order to maintain the flow they need. And you can also keep them in prayer. Make sure to support Carolyn and her teachers as they offer this important service that helps develop the lives of our children. So I feel really fortunate with how complicated the issue of reopening is that I have this great staff, great lay leadership to work with me. I have a small team of staff and lay leadership who are uh, reviewing documents, doing research, and meeting with me once a week to give insight and to think creatively about how we move forward in this. Again, balancing how much we want to get back to normal with not wanting to do any harm and wanting to keep moving in a positive direction. I know some of you are like chomping at the bit. You wish we had started back to wor worship like a month ago. Others of you are still really nervous and you're not sure when you'll come back to worship. We want you to know that we're taking that full spectrum into consideration. I feel excited about uh, the new and creative options that we'll be able to explore. But please pray for us. Pray for us that we have the wisdom to head into uncharted territory the trust that God will guide us in each step of it, and uh, the strength to continue to be committed followers of Jesus Christ together as Silva First United Methodist Church. And I will look forward to seeing you in one way, shape, or form sometime soon, either on the other side of the screen, the other end of a phone call, or eventually live and in person. Thanks.